who will measure his skills against Jake the Stake, a brewery hand from Ratai. Welcome, our warriors. All is prepared for the first duel. Our combatants will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. Exclamation is now live. Streaming Kingdom Come, Deliverance, streaming at PS will try to talk via chat. Drops enabled. Proceed to the next round of the Ratai Tournay. Entering the arena now will be Stephen of Dvoretz, spearman in the company of Sir Radzik Kobilar. And he will face Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Radzik Kobilar. Welcome, our warriors. All is prepared for the first duel. Our combatants will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. Prepare to watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. Hmm. Ah. 
Ow! Proceed to the next round of the Ratai Tournay. Meeting face to face in this round will be Coleman, man at arms of Sir Hanush of Lipa. And his adversary will be Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Radzik Kabla. Let us wish the combatants luck. The combatants have entered the arena and the first duel may commence. Our combatants will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. We will witness a duel with longswords. Fuck it. Ah! 
Good wives, you have just witnessed the final jewel in today's Ratai Tournay, for which we all owe gratitude to Sir Hanush of Lipa. All glory to the victor, Henry of Skelets, man at arms in the company of Sir Radzi Kobila. His prize will be given to him by our gracious Sir Hanush. On a hell of a show, Henry. Here's your hard earned reward. Thank you, Sir Hannes. Good luck to you. To be in the monastery, in the monastery, aren't you? Yeah. Got no business. Can't you meant to be in the market? Good. So, how'd you... Well, it's all right. Hagen is a decent enough, God-fearing man. Goodbye. God safe. What can I do for you? Maybe I can help. Maybe I can help. That would be a bl No, but if you take this, everything will see me. Thank you. I'm sorry. You've done enough. Goodbye. <coughs> take care. Wait a moment. Uh. 
How are you feeling? <sighs> Can you hear me? <clears throat> That's either fever. God be with you. It's good folk. You all know what happened. Oh, aren't you meant to be in the monastery, lad? I'm glad to see. Would you teach me more? I'd like... First, you have to... Well... out. What are you doing? Wait a moment. How does life in Rath? Them Rat. Goodbye. What do you need? Take care. by Sigismund's horns. I'd like to... And what is it you... Uh. I'm sure you'll be...
I've got something for you. I hope you won't need them. Thank you. Wouldn't you like to take a... It's a bit late now. I brought you some... Thank Hail the... Co Wouldn't you like to take... It's a bit late. I brought you something to... What the? Good day. I've come from my. All right. That's a lot. I've got some goods here. All right. Heal.
Yeah. 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 God's blessing. Good luck to you. Good luck, man. Yeah. 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 Sweat or blood? Sweat. Young master, Onions the good lord in his infinite nice wisdom like gifted. Come and buy some. Hmm. One. I see a maid in a. I see twinkling eyes and hear tinkling laughter. It is. No, no, sorry, I meant. Thank you. I thank you. Good. God be with you. Take care.
God save you, good night. May the Lord watch over you. Fresh bread, and pour yourself a bit of fresh mm. milk to drink. Here's your change, and thank you. Come again, any God's bless. Yeah. Yeah. God be with you, Henry. I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? There's an overgrown ruined village in the woods where... That sounds like Pribislavitz. It used to belong to Sir Divish before Havel Maddock attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned Divish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organized. Earthworks and fortifications. That's quite a different matter from writing some rap. I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to...
There's quite a few of them there. Perdition. We'll definitely need reinforcements. I think the Talmberg men should suffice. I don't like leaving the castle unprotected, but there's no other option. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them, but underestimating the enemy can be fatal. There aren't just bandits in the camp. There are Cumans too, quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Could Sigismund have left them there after he raised Scalitz? This is looking more and more serious. I took a look at their arms and armor. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? There's a few of them, and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. They're up to something in the middle of the camp. It looked like they were making several long ladders. Ladders? That sounds like they're planning a siege. I like this less and less. On the other hand, we can use that to our advantage. If we can capture those ladders, we can use them to scale their own fortifications. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? I managed to destroy some of their arrow supplies, so they'll have less ammunition. Well done. That's just... I managed to slip poison to a few of them. They should be too sick to fight. You're as cunning as a fox. We need more like you. That's all, sir. Don't worry, Henry. You've proven yourself a... I need you to go to Sir Divish in Talmberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I t Tell him to take all his men. Leave only the bare minimum at the castle and march to Pribislavitz. I'll take everyone but for one or two sentries. Hopefully together we'll have enough men to defeat them. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to... Sp Goodbye.
God bless you. What troubles you? Sir Radzik sent me with an important... He needs more men? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzig wants to mount an assault on them, but... Hang on. Easy now. From... I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands. More like a small... I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzig wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzig is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzig said to take all your men and leave only a minute. What? Everyone? There really are a lot of them, Sir Divish. He's leaving the camp almost empty, too. We're to go and join his people in Pribislavitz and mount... All right, then. Sir Radzig knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with cap... Would you leave my men there right now? Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. God be with you. Radzig. I'm glad to see you, Captain Robart. I hope Henry's explained everything to you. He did, but I find it hard to believe. Who could possibly put together such a significant military force and right under our noses? We'll just have to find out, but I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of in a week or two. I agree entirely, my lord. What's the plan? Right, lad. We're almost at the place you described. Now we'll have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I don't think I should... I asked you a question, boy. You've been there and seen everything, so speak up. There are three ways to get in. Directly along the straight path to the camp, the long way round through the woods and over an old weir, or by a narrow bridge over a deep ditch. Let's start with the direct route. That sounds like the easiest approach. How does it look there? That path leads round their battlements. It's fortified and patrolled. The chances are they'd shower us with arrows on the way. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. We'll have to try another way then. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way over rough ground, but if it's the better option... It's a long way through the woods and there are patrols there as well. They'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. What about the last approach, over the bridge? It's a bit narrow for my liking. It's narrow, all right, but once we get over, we can quickly occupy the best ground for a battle. We only have to take down a few archers. The battleground sounds inviting, but that bridge and the archers... It's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. Well, I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. With the help of God, we'll win this day. We'll approach from the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. Forward march. Stay in formation! 
Sir, there's more of them coming from below. What the hell? To your post. Defend this <laughs> Remember me? I remember you, though. Well, where's my fucking sword? What the fuck are you on about? What's... Hang on. You're the... Fuck me. I thought we left you to the crows. Tough little fucker, eh? What did you do with my sword? Judging by our last encounter. I'd say you made a big mistake coming here. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so. Because last time was too easy. I'd say you're flogging a dead horse there. You took him down. On your own. Well done. Nice work. You surprised me. He was a mountain of a man. He was the one who attacked Noyov. And stole your sword, sir. The thought did cross my mind. What did he tell you? We'd taken him alive, the executioner might have gotten more out of him. Oh well, these things happen in the heat of battle. Anyway, we found a trunk full of coin down below. Someone was paying this gang very well. And there were some of Sigismund's barbarians among them. I don't think we've seen the last of this. Whoever engineered it was highly placed. 
They won't give up after one defeat. This louse was just a pawn. I'm afraid you're right, sir. Well, lad, you live to fight another day, eh? the fear leaving you, lad. Let it go. Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christian shouldn't dwell on such horrors. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those whore sons to pay for what they did to us. You're right, my boy. But first, we all need some rest. We'll meet later in the upper castle in Rate, and then decide what to do next. But come what may, you did a good job today. I will make you pay for this. It's time for the next part of our plan. Give the word. Yes, sir. Goof. That's... Look what I've got for you. You'll love this.
Greetings. Goodbye. Good gracious. How goes it, sir? I am. For all the good... The only thing I have to read is the Bible. And the Hanush won't let anyone near me but the priest. Have you any idea? This world is but a trial. Be repentant. Actually, talks to me as if I were already dead. Listen, Henry, won't you come with me to the Rate Baths? I, I need a change. Why to the baths? Well, a hot... <laughs> it does. Which is why you can bath here. And Have you ever seen Clara, the bathhouse wench? Henry. How much time do you want to spend? I don't know yet, but at least a few. But what about your wounds, sir? Well, I won't lie to you. It hurts like the devil. But I'd rather hobble along with a cape. Why not? I shall go there right away. All right, I'll come and join. Goodbye. Everything for the house, garden and field. Nine. Greetings.
Snowden. I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed. And that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pervislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. He's wounded. We can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groschen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fac... what? I don't give a fac what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. You saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um, this here is just a pile of copper. Curva, fuck, plated with silver, so it's still of some <laughs> worth. Curva, <sighs> fuck. Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschen seem freshly minted, so... So we are facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppler devil. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said that we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. Greetings. Henry, just the man I want to see. What's the problem? The Archbishop's vicar has come to Uzitz. I don't know why exactly, but the rumor is that he's on the hunt for heretics. I'm sorry, but I'm not really up on religious ranks, sir. You don't have to apologize. It's the devil's own work to make sense of their twisted hierarchy. The vicar is short. I see. In this case... Sadly, the superior. What should I do about Firstly, find out why he's really here. He might truly be on the hunt for heretics, which wouldn't be good news. Or it's equally possible he's here to size up my estate. I understand. The best thing for me and all concerned would be for him to pack his bags and go back to Prague. And how can I, um, encourage him? No, of course not. But if you can make him believe there's nothing to find here, he'll be off in no time. I understand. And my task is to assist him. Indeed. And what if... My boy, my... No. There, you see. I haven't either. 
But... But what if there really are some? Then deal with them. But make sure... Are you at odds with the art? No, I've never even seen him. But that's no... But how can he get his hands up? He's an archbishop. They have long... They say in Prague... Why? All the hair... Uh-huh. Very well. I'll get going straight. Good luck, lad. I'll be careful. Goodbye. To me! Yeah! Yeah! God be with There's a widow being haunted by a ghost. A revenant. For the last few nights, her long-dead neighbor has been paying her a visit in her house. She's tried to drive him out, but neither prayer nor spells have any effect. Hmm. In the scripture, it's written that the dead shall rise again only... Well, she says it's the ghost of Alois, a farmer who... My, my. That would make a soul restless, all right. But I believe there must be something else that's a farmer, jealous wife. I'd ask the widow if there's not more to it. My God. How little you know people. Make the widow tell you everything, you'll see. And to make amends with the deceased as well as the Lord. A what? You ask as if you've fallen. An atonement cross. You often see them along roads. Reminders of reconciliation and forgiven trespasses. Suggest it to the wit. Oh, thank you for. I shall pray for the poor woman, and I'll be grateful in turn for any don't. God be with you.
Hey, you. It's forbidden to walk it. Oh! Ah! Damn! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I bet you even sleep in that armor, eh? There's the good dog. That's my boy.
My humble. I saw the parish. And what did he tell you? Will he come and bless my house? No. A better question is, what haven't you? I've already told you everything. I feel you haven't told me everything. I... that I was a widow and his wife, Lada. She wasn't the kind of woman who filled her husband's heart with joy. So, for an account... If that's what you want to call it. From time to time, we took comfort in each other's arms. Ladder found out and began to make a fuss. They... F you bear a lot of the responsibility for Alois and Ladder's deaths. No. <laughs> I know. I've thought the same thing every single... I assume his children know nothing... They're already adults. But you're right. Do you think it would help if I told them everything? That it would bring... I think you're on the right path now. Make up for old... You're right. I'll go and tell them... Here's some money. Go to the quarry and order a cross be made. I'll do that. Thank you a hundred... Good luck then. Yeah. Yeah. I must reward you for saving my livelihood. If folk believe the stories, well, I dread to think. But the bad stone wasn't even from your quarry. Still, sometimes words can hurt a man more than a blow from a man. I need to erect an attack. Ten groschen. We already have one such cross ready, so if you pay now... There you are.
What do you think? Will he come again? I'm sure we've seen the last of him. Oh, I feel so light. I could float away at peace with the world. That's a peace I have yet to find. Mm. As you've seen for yourself, shaking off the past isn't easy. Here's a ring my husband left me. I don't even know where he got it, but it might be worth something. Take it with my gratitude. I'm glad I was able to help. Thank you. And God be with you. And with you. I hope you'll finally have peaceful dreams. That's a fucking... Andrew says I have to get a dis... What? That's suicide! We don't even have... You're probably right. Look, I'll go and see if I can sort it out. <sighs> get... I want to get... Sir... I'd like to hope... First you have to have some... Well... Good day to you. How's trade? Around here? The ones who've got it worse are them at the Neuhof stud farm. Getting things up and running again without old Smill would be a job and a half. His widow Zora is a fine woman. Is there somewhere I... I suppose I could... For how long? Just the one night? No problem. Here you are. You'll like it here. Take care now. I must have imagined. I could do with something to eat. 
take care now. I've got them. What? The whole bloody lot. Well then, let's... Farewell. Oh. Is that it? It's a bit... Uh... Ordinary? Are you serious? I got it straight from the fucking humans. Oh, it's not exactly, uh... Terrifying, is it? <laughs> it's about as frightening as my aunt's speckled hen. They just don't look much like a human to me. Have any of you actually seen a human? What? Do you mean close up? <laughs> don't be daft. Miramir's described them many times. Everyone knows cumans are monstrous. They're barbarians. Pagans. Whereas you look like a little boy playing at soldiers. And just who the hell is Miramir? He's a regular in my tavern. He works as a caravan guard, and he knows what he's talking about. He's been eye to eye with a cuman, and he's lived to tell the tell. You can ask him yourself. Nah, what do they know? Oi, Henry. Take that ridiculous thing off before anyone sees you, eh? How's Trey? No, it's in weekend. How's trade? No, it's in weekend. I'd like to learn to. F Certainly. Well. We're on the upper floor. What's going on there? The middle room is. Don't be weak. Hey, well, I me. never. Glad's a foot. I'm glad to see you. They tell me you've seen a. I certainly would. Buy me a drink. Here you go. Thanks. Henry. Hmm. Not long ago, I was escorting a goods caravan all the way from Vienna. When all of snow. Don't interrupt. Don't bear with Oh, We strayed off the path. Couldn't see the ground beneath. <laughs> Are these malevolent? The big choir. As if in a trance, we walked towards the fire. And at that moment. Uh, so, someone was feeling the cold. 
I'd have been shivering. And those devilish creatures were drinking the blood of babies and fornicating with she devils. I can tell you, I never ran so fast in my life. I was the only one to escape. Since that time, I've been... Yeah, undoubtedly. Probably a spell of laziness. What the hell would you know about? I'm from fucking Scallets. I watched those bastards butchering my kit and kit. Ah, uh, you might have said that before. I could have saved the yarn for someone who... Where did you hear this nonsense? Oh, uh, the, uh, Bram, uh, the charcoal burner told me about them. He, he lives in the woods near here. Uh, the, and young Vashek, a uh, stable boy at the stud farm in Ushitz. He, he, he saw them. Take care. My pleasure. Hey, Henry. I want more money for them. Why is that? Because... Yeah. God save. They say you know. I do. One. That's of no interest. Ah. Uh, Look, save the tall tales to impress the wenches. Well. Well. Or so a black hen. But that wouldn't have magical power. Right. Good luck then. Yeah.
Jesus. Uh. Fangs. They wear wolves fangs to make themselves in. Oh, that was quick. Fangs. Good luck then. Yeah. I hope I can be of some help. I hear you. No, sir. M my master would whip me for telling tor- I won't hit you. Really, sir? Aha. Uh -huh. They wear the skins of- Right. I'd like you to show me- Me teach you. I'd like you to show me how- Me teach you. But you already know everything. God be with you. Yeah. 
One beer for me. What do you want here, lad? God save, Monsignor. My name's Henry, and I've been sent by... Sir Hanish, hmm? I'm to assist you in your search. Oh, I see. How considerate of him. Well, you've come at the right time. I need someone who'll go unnoticed among the... I'm sure Sir Hanish told you what I'm doing. He said you're looking for... Exactly. I'm seeking out the sores that inflict the body of the church. The rash of heretics. Valdensians. Dangerous heret. How can I help you then? Excellent. Let's get right. I know how to get to where the heretics congregate. And what's stopping you from going there? That is to say, the crux of the matter is this. We caught a heretic in Kutenberg who told us of the heretics in Uschitz. Regrettably, by the time he got around to disc I see. So do Possibly. His account was confused, to say the least. I have a... Naturally, Father. Otherwise, Sahanish wouldn't have... I see. It's a good thing at least the servants of the nobility are getting a suitable... Ad Here's the record of the interrogation. From what I can make out, his description of the route starts at the local tavern. Once you... I'll do my best, Father. Well, I'm not from Uzitz exactly, so I don't... That's good, because the last thing I need is one of these local good-for-nothings. And they don't trust me either, but you're an ordinary lad with a likable face, if a bit simple looking. You'll have. You flatter me, Monsignor. Are there any suspects? Everyone is a suspect, you can be sure of that. But I'll know more after I finish the inter. How did you conclude there are heretics here? We caught one in Gutenberg. He confessed to everything, including meeting up with others in. And that was all he told you? By the end, all his... But that doesn't necessarily mean... That is indeed possible. Who are these Valdensians? Really? Then you... Um... Both possibilities. But to answer your question... I gathered that much. Look, boy. Very well, Mon I'll get working on it. God be with you, my son. God be... Good luck, then.
God be with you. May the Lord watch over you. I got fucking it. Wonderful. Come with me. May the Lord watch over you. What's taking them so long? God, I really don't know. Ready? Good. Now put it on. Hmm. Oh, I can hear an improvement. That's good. That's really fucking good. You don't think it's too much? It's perfect. If I met you at night, I'd shit myself. That's exactly what cumans look like. Says the man who's never seen one. Well, I mean, that's exactly what people think cumans look like. Yep, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. <laughs> We're only just getting started. My pleasure. Have you heard about... Just some talk about lost sheep and... Of course I care about it. 
That's over and done with. The wenches? The sheep. Well, we'd better get... I don't really have anything specific. Who? I, I don't know his name, but it was about as old as you. He said his family... Young Adam, then. He decided he wanted to go back home. See the damages. I know. I'm... It certainly isn't Christian, but the thing is... And did he say where he was going? He said he's going to Ratai. It won't be easy to find him. Then you'll have to ask someone, won't you? I wouldn't count on it. The looters pro This Adam said it was enough to fix a hole. All right, but it still seems shady. Maybe, but I don't... I'll be on my way then. Go. Go. Would you know of any... As it happens, I would... So, tell me. Now and again, the fisherman from Tomberg comes around here with some game to sell. There's more and more poaching going on there. Sounds good to me. All right. Thanks. God be with you. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Sir? Yes, what is it? It's me, sir, Henry. Look here, Henry, I'm, uh, right in the middle of something. Come back off the car. <sighs> what do you want? Good luck, then. What's that? And get a move on. I'm interested. Uh-huh. And what? Uh. I'm sure you... What do you need, sir? I need you to do me a favour, Henry. Of course, sir. Good. Well, you'd never think it, but Zdena here is a demon at dice. She stripped me bare ass naked. <laughs> well, I'll rip every. Good God! You do that to such a fragile flat. Right then, you've got to beat Zdenner at dice. I refuse. All right. How have you all been? Well, Lord Capon's been chasing us around a bit. What's life? Life is good here. What kind of? Sir Hanush. How about a game of? Are you sure? What would I do with two? <laughs> Goodbye. Saint Barbara, guide my hand. It seems there's a method in your madness. You haven't exactly gotten off to a good start, have you?
did you? Jesus, I can't bear to watch. We'll see. Now you. My, my. Some real competition at last. You know I'll let you in, of course. Bad move! But I'm proud of you anyway. This'll be the one. Hmm. We'll see. Your turn. I could do with a good soak. Then strip off and... All right, why not? Put your clothes in the trunk. Shift over. I don't want to tread on anything vital. All right, give me a moment and I'll roll it up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That feels good. Is there a reason you're dressed for the occasion? <laughs> you're not a maid under all those clothes, are you? Lord almighty, this is a bathhouse, not a laundry. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
You certainly know how to have a good time. Here, yeah, drink. It's not terribly high quality, but it should do the job. I don't mind if I do. Give me that. That's the spirit. So this is how you recuperate from your injuries? Of course. Is there any other... Have you heard they caught a cumin at Bajeen Mill? I heard something about that. In a way... Believe it or not, that heathen bastard led me to some treasure. Treasure? Now why would a cumin do that? Let's just say I didn't give him much choice. <laughs> nice. Never mind about me. What about you? I'm well enough, Henry. These baths are just the... You'll keep an eye on things here, won't you? Take care. We really can't drink this local piss. Really, sir? Such mean words from a noble gent. Clara, my most favourite is bathmaid. But I must admit it, my dear. The wine you have here is pitiful. What's wrong with the bathhouse wine? I'd rather drink the bath water. You should go and get something. Ah, I know. In the cellars under the rat house, there's some excellent wine that Sir Hanush bought for us. And you want me to go there and get... I'd be indebted to you. And a great... All right, then. A silver and red. In the cellar under the rat house. It's the last barrel at the end on the right-hand side. I'd like to ask you... What is it? So I can just go? Yeah. No. Not exactly. Ah. And this wine would... Um, yes. Which wine is... The Sylvan Red. All right. All right, then. I'll... Good man.
Wait here for me. Stay. Well, I never... Why are you sneaking about like a ghost? I could do with a good sir. Then strip. All right, why not? Put your clothes in. Shift over. I don't want to tread on anything vital. All right. <laughs> you certainly know how. Yeah, drip. I don't mind if I. That's this.
So this is how you rec- Of course! Not in a word. Believe- Tread? Let's just- You'll keep an eye on things here, won't you? Clara! Bring some wine to the gents before they get cross. You know what, Henry? We really can't drink this local piss. Oh, really, sir? Such mean words from a noble gent. Clara! My most favourite barmaid! But I must admit it, my dear. The wine you have here is piss. What's wrong? I've, I've, and you want me to? I'd been. That's.
Wait here for me. Stay. Come along, free. Yeah. Yeah. So, about that wine you... Well? Of course. You really broke into the cellar? I certainly did. I hope that wine... I don't believe it. You really... But, sir, you asked me... Jesus, Henry. You'd be talked into just about anything. Well, let's see if... What are you... Come on, then. Yeah, as you said.
buffs her hands. I'm not like the other girls. I know, Clara. You you are, are different. <laughs> you, you deserve more. Mm. You deserve flowers. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What kind of um, flowers do you like? Ah, uh -huh, well. I like all kinds. I like dandelions, uh, sage, knotweed, and poppies. I really like poppies. Oh, Henry, did you hear that? <laughs> what? The lady requests da dandelions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, s sage, mm -hmm. uh, cabbages. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. No, no, knotweed and poppies. <laughs> what? <laughs> You, you want me to go flower picking now? I know, I know. I'm putting you to work again. But if you do it, I'll give you scrivency flowering groschen. <laughs> that much? <laughs> All right. I'll go. <sighs> <sighs> What was it she said? Sage something, something else, and uh, roses? Yeah, what would a bouquet be without roses? There's some in the upper castle garden. Come along, free. What the hell, man? We've been around like a foot pad.
So, about that wine you sent me for. Well, have you got it? Of course. You really broke into the cellar at the rat house? I certainly did. I don't know. What? That was a trick? Nonsense. I oh, thank you for your con... Well, let's see if this wine is as good... What are you waiting for? The Come on, then. Ah, now that's what I call a real wine. Yeah, as you said... she said sage something something else and, uh, roses yeah what would a bouquet be without roses there's some in the upper castle garden yeah Yeah. Yeah. Aren't you meant to be in the mud? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
God be with you. Yeah. Good fella. That's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. privacy if you don't mind. Come for my wench. Well, as you can see, I'm not your wench or anyone else's, so fuck off. What are you doing with my Clara, you cunt? Archie, stop that. He's just bathing here. Bathing here, is he? When all the wenches but you are whores. Archie! But are you whoring now, too? That's enough, Archibald! <laughs> Archibald? <laughs> you shut your mouth, I'm not done with you! No, I swear the gentleman hasn't touched me. Actually, that's quite true. Um, well, mostly. No, nothing happened. Nothing. We can talk about this later. First, I'm dealing with this bastard. I'd like to see you try, arson balls. <laughs> arson balls! <laughs> the love of God, stop it, both of you! Fuck you now. Hey. <sighs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Batter that fucker! Give it. Archie. Mm. Archie. 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 Kick his ass. Yeah. Kick his balls. Stop it, Archie. Henry. Uh. Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> Trying to drown a nobleman. Oh shit. <sighs> Fuck. <coughs> so, I, I didn't know. Get out of my sight. Go on before I remember I can have you hung. I apologize, your lordship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Archie, wait. Oh. Whew. I nearly got drowned by arson balls. <laughs> 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 oh. 
that's the least relaxing bath I've ever had. Fuck, I feel like I've swallowed the Baltic. Oh, drinking will be the death of you. Damn right. Is there any wine left? Are you out of your fucking mind? You want to carry on? Of course. Well, don't tell me you don't fancy a drink after all that. What will you do with them, sir? <coughs> what, with arson balls? I don't know. He was drunk and insane with jealousy. But he tried to drown in the... He didn't know who you were. Anyway, if you let him off, you'll show that you're the better... I suppose you're right. <laughs> but we had some pretty good sports, eh? God be with you.
God be with you. I've got some goods here. All right. See you later.
Thank you for the dr Teresa, I brought you something. My, my, how. That's lovely. I brought you something. Thanks. See you later. Yeah. Wait here. To be in the next. Someone's got no business out. Stop for a bit. I'll just give you a quick search. What part didn't you understand? Why? For security. 
For God's sake, don't bother me. Any delay? Yeah, all right. To heal, Mutt. Someone there? Ah! <laughs> 